Polish. No, not for scrub. Packs. I'm talking about packs. Oh, okay, packs. somebody has some uh, white mask. Dry face white. Dry face white. It's a mask. Oh, socks. What else? What else do we have? Is there a 180 mask? 180 mask. Perfect. Any others? Any others?
just like that. You open up, it's very moist. You can put it on, you can create, um, we try to create a tension on the airplane, don't we? So you can put it on your face, and then we'll come over and find out what you're doing, and you can uh, do some prospecting. <laughs> Tell them of the opera just showed up on the plane. <laughs> but you know that when you use this, you put it on, in theory, you can only put it on for 30 minutes, not 45. When they totally dry up, they actually pull it out of your skin. So you should leave when it's moist and you take it away. And when you use it, I call it my skin will stay very nice and moist for three, four days. Well, let me say a couple of words about mud, okay? How many of you have heard of EV? What is EV? Okay. EV is a skin disease that, uh, <clears throat> what happened is that the person, the people who was afflicted with this disease, they lack the collagen, they lack the glue between the top layer of the skin and the bottom layer of the skin, all right? Which means that if you do this, the top layer of the skin, Scraped off, and what does that? What would that do? It hurt, right? Just imagine you fall down, scrape your knee. Does it hurt? You start to bleed, right? <clears throat> yeah. With the glacial marine mud, there's a story behind. There's a relationship between this and EV. All right. What happens? You might have seen a picture of a lady called Lynn Anderson. She had two, three kids, but two of them had EV. All right. The first one was the oldest son, and he was not, he wasn't, a, he wasn't a, a whiner, okay? He just accepted the fact that he's got EB, to the point that, you know, he would apologize to the mother every night, you know, sorry, I, give, I got this disease, and I, I, you know, you have to take the time to bandage me up, because every night when, you, when the kid goes to bed, you have to bandage him up, otherwise, you know, if it moves around, and the next day, you go straight up. You can't have that. And the doctor told her that for every, uh, the combination of she and her husband's genes, if, you, if they have kids, one out of, the, one out of four will have, will may contract EB. As it turned out, she had three kids, two of them had EB. The first one and the third one. Well, the third one was a whiner, you know, why me? Okay, so these two kids, the first one, the older boy lived to about, what, 20-something? 20-something. He was active. He couldn't do sports, but he would do sports reporting, okay? But when he was in his 20s, finally he told his mother, you know, this is too much. I can't take it. It's too painful. So he gave up his world to live. Once he gave up, and then after, maybe a month later, he, died, he passed away. And little sister, watching older brother who's so, you know, open about it, couldn't make it. So, she, and she's always complaining about 